Right, good morning everyone. I'm inside today because it's raining outside, but that still, that doesn't stop the work. So I hope I've got the camera angle right so that you can see all of me. Today I'm gonna to do two workouts. I'm gonna mess around with the intervals a little bit because otherwise you've been getting fit for these 30 seconds and 20 seconds. So we're just gonna explore our heart raiser with some um, longer intervals that will just sort of challenge you a little bit, and probably me. And then we're gonna do a quick bit of strength work. Then the second video is gonna give you a four minute workout, the sort of workout that you can do between Zoom sessions, the sort of workout you can do whilst maybe waiting for a meeting to start. It's, um, it's something I've been reading a lot about and um, has some really well documented fast health benefits. So we'll start the second half off with that and then into some more strength. So you're gonna go cardio strength, cardio strength. So a couple of workouts for you to choose from this week. Time is getting tight, everybody's got so many things to do these days. So, let us start off with a warm out. Let's take the arms backwards. Take some deep breaths, squeezing the shoulder blades together as you take those arms in big circles, going back. Let's go forwards, reaching up, pushing into your heels, reaching up as much as you can and then let's just reach across the upper body and I'm raising my heel off the floor so rotating keeping those elbows good and high and rotating rotating let's take those elbows in front of our face and open out into a pec stretch opening out the chest Check that your knees are soft, pulling your belly button in towards your backbone, really warming up those shoulders. Can you feel that? I can. Warming up those shoulders. And then last, let's just do some arm swings. Soften the knees, little bounce in the knees. As you bounce, your bottom's going back, taking your weight into your heels, and as you come up, Give your bum cheeks that little squeeze. Okay, let's just roll those shoulders forward, just the shoulders, roll the shoulders back. And then hands on hips and let's look either side. Just warming up the top of the spine now, really vital to get those top vertebrae nicely settled in, bathed in synovial fluid, so we're not gonna do any damage. Let's take an ear to each shoulder. Take your time, breathing, pulling your belly button in towards your backbone. And finally, some head rolls across the front of the chest. One ear to one shoulder, and then take it back the other way. That's the upper body, nicely warmed up. Okay, let's do some hip circles, taking it down into the lower body. Feeling your weight traveling across the front of your feet and into your heels as you push the hips forward, squeezing the buttocks, squeezing up the pelvic floor. Make those circles as big as you can. Let's take them back the other way. If you, like me, have just woken up and really you would have liked to have spent this dreary morning under the duvet, this is gonna be the workout for you because already I'm feeling better that I'm just moving. Really, really, truly, guys. Okay, hands on hips. Locate those heels on the floor, soften those knees, and then let's take the upper body for a walk. Just exploring your own flexibility pushing into the heels, using the whole of your toes to help that body travel. Let's take it back the other way. For today's workout, you'll need your water. You'll need a mat. You won't need any weights today unless you choose to add a weight in. That's up to you. It can be done body weight today. And then let's take our chair or maybe you're using the wall and we're just gonna draw some knee circles with one leg, just reaching up and out. 
feeling those clickety clickety click bingo hips <laughs> and then let's take them back the other way keep the shoulders back and down rotating your knee reaching up and then we're just going to use that chair as we bring that knee up and squeeze squeeze and if you can let go of the chair squeeze that knee into the chest deep breaths as you squeeze let's drop the knee swap chairs to the other side okay and then let's roll those hips lift keeping the shoulders down using your abs to lift that knee lift and circle and then let's take it back the other way you might have one knee that's a bit more clicky than the other you might have one side that you've got more flexibility on no judgment here just the offer of a good workout bring you home to your body and then last of all let's take that knee up to the chest squeeze it in have a little go at releasing the chair and really squeezing that knee up to the chest fantastic let's drop the knee we are going to just do some heel raises so up you go on your toes holding your belly button in your shoulders are rolled back if you feel like you're rolling forward just take your hands against your bottom and let's just lift onto those toes and down strengthening out the lower leg and then if you need a chair for this grab hold of the chair as we just rotate the ankles and take it back the other direction and let's rotate the ankles whoops should never look at the watch halfway through and roll back in the other direction okay everybody so we're just gonna finish off with some drops down the front of the legs straight down don't worry about touching your toes the aim of this is to stretch out the hamstrings and to activate the glutes as we hinge take the bottom out behind taking that weight into your heels if your shoulders are rounding put your hands on your bottom and let's just wake up those hips wake up those glutes wake up those quads and those hamstrings with some hinges <sighs> taking the hands down if you feel you can keep the shoulders back squeezing your bum cheeks and certainly feeling that heat start to raise in this posterior chain which will support us well through the workout today okay so i'm going to set the timer and we're going to do 45 seconds of work and then we're going to have a 15 second rest so you're going to feel this more than other cardio because it's cardio and it's going to go on for longer but i know you can do it the secret is to breathe so okay let's give this a go our first move is going to be some jogs so keep the elbows away from the body and just keep bringing those knees forward if jogging is too high impact we're just going to march but i want you to swing those elbows and we're going to jog it out let's go oh dear my time is too quiet let me turn the volume up you're jogging away give it a jog come on everyone <sighs> elbows away from the body this is going to feel like a long interval you're halfway through your normal interval we're heading into the second half of what you've become used to with me keep bringing those knees forward and now we are entering uncharted territory 45 seconds of pure cardio come on let's go you've got 10 seconds left breathe through it nine eight seven six five four three two and one there we go so you've done 45 seconds jogging on the spot next move we're going to do is our mountain climber i'm going to set this one up on a chair so you've got your hands underneath your shoulders you've got your toes out and you're going to bring your knee up to your chest let's go bring that knee up maybe you'll do mountain climbers on the floor 
or maybe you're doing them on a chair. Keep breathing. And what you want to be doing is having that body nice and long, bringing those knees up to the chest. Heart rate is getting right up there. Tuck those knees up. Really bring that knee to the chest like we did in our warm up. Come on, everybody. You're on the home straight now. You have got 10 seconds left, and I know you can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Tough work. Second move in. What have we got now? We're going to do knee up. So standing up crunch. So I want you to bring your knee up to your opposite elbow. Don't forget to be breathing all the way. Let's go. Have a little rest in between. Keep those elbows good and high. The temptation will be to bring your elbows down. You want to keep those elbows up. And just like we did in our warm up, by crunching our knee up to the chest, you are using your abs. You can speed it up. If you feel that you've got that, keep breathing. Keep bringing those knees right up. 15 seconds are left and I know you can do it. 10 seconds, home straight. Breathe to the end, don't give up, keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, and what have I got? Oh, the last one. You're gonna absolutely hate me for this. This is called getting up. So you're gonna get down on the floor, you're gonna lie down, and you're gonna get up again, okay? 45 seconds, get down on the floor and get right back up again. That's all we're gonna do. You're gonna get down and you're gonna get up. Get down, put the whole chest to the floor. You can do this. Keep on going, down you go. Up you get, even if you manage three in the whole interval, that's all that matters. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep going, getting down, getting up. And you are done. Okay, we're back to our jogs. Okay, 45 seconds. You can do this. Keep those elbows away from the body. Keep the chin up and keep breathing. Okay, knees forward, let's go. Maybe you've just got tiny little heel lifts. Keep those abs engaged. Keep those elbows free. Chin up, shoulders back. As you're running on the spot or marching on the spot, check that you're holding an imaginary Pringle between your thumb and your four fingers so that your arms are relaxed. We are on the home straight now, everyone. Let's speed those feet up for the last 10 seconds. I know you can do it. Five, four, keep going. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. So we're onto our mountain climbers. Set yourself up. Are you gonna use a chair? Are you gonna get down on the floor? If you're on the floor, you want that good plank position, okay? You want to make sure that your hands are under your shoulders, let's go. And you're bringing your knees right up to your chest. Now you can go for speed, or you can go for flexibility. Slow that move down so that you get the most out of it. Really bringing that knee up to the chest. <sighs> Gripping the floor with your fingers. If this is too much, you can take it onto the knee and still be shoveling your knee up to the chest. <sighs> Bringing those knees right in, feeling that stretch through the glutes. <sighs> Let's keep going. You have done, lost track of time there because I kicked the weight over and I'm worried about the angle. We're gonna go for knee up on a standing ab crunch. Just want to adjust the angle on this, it's so sensitive. So knee up, brilliant. 
shooting that knee up, keeping those elbows high, breathing. If this is too much, don't forget your good old friend, the chair. And you could be knee up in a chair. This is really good work. If you are struggling with the length of the interval, take it onto a chair, check that you're not leaning back and crunch those knees up. How about this for a, a move that you could do in your office chair as well, whilst waiting for that Zoom call. You can be all plugged in, ready to go. And then when they click on the screen live, you've got that lovely warm sweaty glow all about you and I wonder what you've been doing. Right, okay, we are gonna go into our get-ups. So you're going down onto the floor and you're gonna get up. Option now, roll over onto your back. Three, two, one, let's go. Get down onto the floor. Roll over onto your back and up you get. Take it down, roll onto the floor and up you get. If you manage one of these in the whole interval, that is absolutely fine. Take it down, extend out, bring yourself back up. Use the chair if you need it, otherwise try and do it complete body weight. Onto your back, up you come. Can you actually get up without using your hands? Really good on the core. We've got eight seconds left on the clock. Up you get, three, two, last one. Well done, okay, we're going back to the beginning. You know what to do. We are going to bring those knees forward with some jogs. Last round, let's make it count. Then we're gonna do a quick bit of ab strength. Let's go. Bringing those knees forward. Keep those elbows soaring backwards and forwards. Keep the breath going. Keep breathing. Keep those hands relaxed. Pull the belly button in. Shoot those knees forward, using your abs to bring those knees forward, whether you're marching or hopping. You've got six seconds left. Keep going right to the end. Three, two, one. Fabulous, what's next? Mountain climbers, so come on. These are your last ones that you're doing. Set up, really good starting position. Hands under shoulders. And you're gonna bring those knees up to your chest. Keep breathing, don't forget. You can slow these down. You can do these on your knees or you can do them on a chair. Let's just get them done. Breathing all the way, they're tough. You wouldn't do them unless I just told you to do them. <sighs> we have got 10 sweet seconds left. Let's go right to the end. Wait for that bell. <sighs> you can do it. <sighs> and you've done it. How's about that? Woo! Well done, everyone. Knee up, standing, ab, Crunch. Don't forget, you can use the chair if you want. Elbows high, knee across the body. Slow it down or speed it up. You're gonna feel the benefits. Heart rate is up. Elbows are high. You're breathing. You're giving your heart an absolute treat. Your blood is pumping. You are alive. Let's keep going. Doing your best. All of us in this together. 10 seconds are left. Where did all that time go? Come on. Let's go right to the end. Don't stop. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, okay? Get up, sit down. Now if you're struggling, bring your mate the chair in. And we're just gonna stand up and sit down. Without using your arms, let's do as many of these as possible. 
Otherwise, take yourself down onto the floor and you're just getting up from lying. Now, how about reaching up over the head? As you stand up, push into the heels, squeeze your bum cheeks, reach those arms up. You can do it, really getting up without using your hands. 15 seconds are left on the clock, pushing into those heels, squeezing those glutes, counting down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, okay, any of you with Fitbits or heart rate monitors, you should be right up there. Well done. Okay, we're gonna do an ab set, just working on your belly. Go away, advert. I don't want that. I want my timer on, 30, 20. Okay, so our first move that we're gonna, we're gonna take ourselves down onto the floor. So you are going to need your mat. Have a quick drink if you need it. I'm just gonna angle the camera down a bit. Take myself down onto the floor. And the first move we're gonna do is a Russian twist. Okay, so you're gonna twist side to side. Okay, feet are on the floor and you're rotating through the upper body. If you want to recruit a weight in, you can. And if you want to make this harder, you're gonna lift your feet off the floor, maybe one at a time, or maybe you're gonna hold both together. The idea is, is that you're really crunching out those abs. So, let's set ourselves up. We're on the low interval now, we're just setting up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work. So after our first interval, it's gonna seem like absolutely nothing. So you're gonna twist as if you were holding an imaginary candle, keeping those elbows up high, alternating the feet if you want, or keeping the feet off the floor. Let's go. So keep that candle burning, keep it high, and your eyes are tracking your hands. You're breathing, and this is a shorter interval. So you're gonna feel so happy when I tell you you're over halfway through. Just keep breathing with 10 seconds left. <sighs> Rotating through the upper body. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is our good old friend, the ab bike. Now you can be doing this sitting in your chair, bringing those opposite knees to opposite hands, or you can take it down onto the floor and you're gonna bring one foot in, pushing the small of the back down onto the floor, or if you want to, keep the heels raised. Let's go. What you want to be doing is pushing the small of the back down to the floor. If the small of your back is peeling away from the floor, pump those feet higher. You can take this fast or you can take it slow. You're halfway through. Keep extending those legs, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Push the small of the back down. Keep rotating and reaching and you're done. See, these are really short intervals of effective work. And the last thing we're gonna do for our abs is we're lying our knees, our heels are under our knees, small of the back is pushed down, arms are crossed over the chest, we're not pulling on the neck, you're pushing the small of the back down to the floor, pressing down with your belly button and crunching up. Let's just crunch. If you do a crunch properly, it takes your breath away at the bottom of the move, makes you feel a bit sick, Push down with the small of the back. Push the belly button in towards your backbone. Keep that connection between the small of the back and the floor. Tuck the chin into the chest. Small little rocks, pushing down, and you're done. Okay, well done. So we're back to our Russian twists. Okay, so if you want to hold a weight, you can. Maybe you're gonna hold your water bottle. Maybe you've got a light dumbbell. And we're just gonna rotate and rotate. Okay, the option is yours to lift a toe off the floor or lift both feet. Let's go. Let's rotate and rotate. Lifting the opposite foot up to the direction that you're rotating in or maybe both feet are off the floor. 
lean back into that move I can't really do because of the space I've got here busting into my stereo let's keep our eyes on the weight four three two and one fantastic we are rocking through this workout ab bike so set yourself up the secret smaller the back connected to the floor tuck that chin into the chest and you're going to reach opposite elbow to opposite knee and keeping the smaller the back connected and your heels as close to the floor as possible let's go how about speeding this one out breathing as you go good work use that breath you're halfway through don't give up 10 seconds are left starting now whatever you do don't give up come on four three two and one excellent okay crunches so more of the same we've really got these muscles going this time lift your toes off the floor tuck your chin into the chest and we're going to rock up with those crunches let's ready for that bell and crunch little pulses it's not a big move it's a tiny move and you know when you're doing it because it takes your breath away tuck that chin in press that belly button down this is not hurting your neck because all the work is in your lower back and your belly five four three two and one aren't these intervals amazing because they're so much shorter than our cardio so come on last set of Russian twists okay so you're going to set yourself up are your feet going to be off the floor or are you going to just lift one foot up at a time and really rotating that upper body we're using the side of our abs here let's go <sighs> holding your weight if you're doing this body weight that's absolutely fine keep your eyes on your hands <sighs> halfway through really lean back get those abs quivering with 10 seconds left on the clock you can do it seven six five four three two and one okay let's line ourselves up for ab bike all right you know what to do this is the round that you wouldn't do on your own you'd have said that round two is enough but because i'm here to work with endurance we're going to do round three you are going to tuck that chin into the chest push the small of the back down opposite elbow opposite knee let's go breathing nothing to say just do it extending those legs you're halfway through 10 seconds are on the clock don't give up you can do this five four three two and one excellent come on last set of crunches and then we're done come on we can do this get yourself into that good crunch position feet are under your knees okay lift those toes up push the small of the back down tuck your chin into your chest arms across your chest let's go exhale each time you come up And you're done okay so short and sweet we're gonna do it all again but differently next time round